Son, you better keep your fire And let the Lord take you higher If you desire My mama told me, yeah I will never leave your side yeah. What's up with you two? It's your girl Susie back at it again with another video for y'all, man. Say what to do. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do that right now. Comment and subscribe to the channel. Uh, so today y'all can see, y'all can tell by the title what I will be talking about. What I will be telling you guys about. Oh my god. So, Man, it's gonna be a crazy story. I got screenshots to show you my story. <laughs> no, just playing. All right, guys. So today I'll be bringing, I'll be talking to you guys about my coming out story. Man, why is this still so weird to me? Huh? I don't know. So let's get it. Let's get straight into this video without further ado. All right, yeah. So. My coming out story is kind of weird, cause like the way I did it was weird. So I was dating this girl, right? And it's crazy how I met her, though. Let me let, let me get into this. So like, let me get into it. Let me tell it piece by piece. So I met this girl. We met on Snap. I don't know how she got on my Snap, but like she kept always. She would always be the first one watching my Snaps. And I'm like, hey, she must like me. She peeping me. Because like, I would always see who view my snaps and stuff. She always be the first one. I kid you not. She wasn't the first. She would dance, she would shake. She never came in third place. So I'm like, dang, she peeping me. So I hit her up or whatever. And um, dang, I, I, I wish I could go back to the screenshots. But I, we blocked each other. But, oh, so. Okay. okay. <laughs> but um, she was like, uh, what, 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 what did I say? I was like, I see you watching this song. Or whatever, and then she said something, and then I gave her my number. She texted me, and like after that, it was history. It was history. It was history. It was history for us. No, no. Oh wow. But um, uh, man, shout out to you though. Good time. So, I we was talking for about a year. We was we was talking for about a year now. You know, just long distance for a whole year. I, I ain't never seen her. But what am I? Wait, 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 wait. I did see. I lied. I lied. I seen her one time. Cause I haven't been to the coast to go see her. All right, and so here her birthday come around. She, she explained to me she didn't want to go another year without us, you know, being around each other, without me being there for her birthday, little stuff like that. So I was just like, you know, damn, you know, I really put myself on her shoes. What if she was hiding me? You knowing that I really love this person, you knowing that I really love this girl. You know what I'm saying? Like. And here you are hiding me. So I put myself in her shoes, and I was just like, damn, I, I got to tell my people. So I was back home from where I'm from, back home. And I remember I was sitting, I was sitting, I was sitting in the truck in the country. I was out in the country. And I was just like, damn, what I'm saying? It's a week until her birthday. What I'm doing? What I'm doing? I text my sister. That's what I did. I text my sister. I told my sister, I'm like, look here, sis. Um, I really don't know how to say this. Now I'll put the message here so y'all can kind of pause it and read it if y'all want to. But I was just like, I just like, I met this girl. I, I really like it and I really love it. And we've been talking for so, 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 so long. And, you know, I really want to spend her, my birthday with her. So I just really want y'all to, like, know. You know what I'm saying? So like, I, I got tired of hiding it. You know, she was tired. And that kind of, it always hurt me to hide, hide me. Cause I've, I was, I've always been a person and I'm still working on it. I've always been a person worried about what somebody think about Susie, but the people that think about Susie don't do nothing for Susie. So it's like, I'm done thinking about what people think about me. Like, I don't care. You don't have to like me. I'm going to be attracted to me. You don't got to love me. I, like, it, it, like that doesn't do nothing for me. So what's the point of me holding my life? I worry about what somebody else think about me. You know what I mean? So I always think about yourself first. All right. So cool. This shit crazy. So I'm telling my sister, right? And I'm telling my sister, hey, my sister called me. When I tell you my heart dropped, my heart dropped. My sister called me. And my sister and my family you know y'all, like I'm a very private person. I don't really let my people get in my business. I don't be in their business. And you know, they know much, only few things about me because I'm not like a very open person. I've never been. So, um, when she called me, my heart dropped. And I'm like, damn. Shit, and my heart racing. You know what? I, I got like my phone, call my phone and everything. Cause I'm just like, bro, man, what I do? That's just how I felt. And I text, I text my baby. I was like, hey, babe, 
I, I told him. Like, what they said, what they said, what they said. She, she was like, she called me down and she was like, it's okay. They gonna love you. They gonna accept you. And I'm like, why? Because I come from a, a, a Christian background. I don't, you know, mama, she, she strict. You know, I'm gonna get into that later. But, um, so like, yeah, my sister called, she talked to me. And we talked and she just let me, she loved on me so much, y'all. And I, I love my family. I love, I really do. I, I genuinely do for the bottom pit of my heart. Like I, I ride at dawn about them. You know what I'm saying? You ride out at dawn when it comes to my folks. But um, yeah, she was just like, she called me and she was just like, you know, I love you, sis. And I already knew. Woo, woo, woo. And I'm like, you already knew. And I have to tell, I was like, tell her, hold on now, don't do too much though, because I don't want to be no little boy. Yeah, I may dress like a little boy, but I'm very, you know, very in tune with it, you know what I'm saying? So I have to let her know that off bat, you know, I don't want to be, you know, viewed like that. I am me, I am Susie, and I will love who I love. Don't let who I love bother your day. And so, anyways, so my sister, she called, she accepted it, she loved me, boom. Cool. Now here we go. We got mama. We gotta tell mama. So I come back home. You know what I'm saying I come back home to tell my mom. And uh, well oh, wait. Did I tell her after? Did I tell her after this? I think I told my mom after my, my girl had actually she she my girl mom said I'm just referring to my girl because that was she was at the time. So cool. My sister told me to go down there. This is what my sister told me. My sister said, all right, you make sure you go be with her. You go take care of her. And at the time, I, I, I had just got back home. I was struggling. I was trying to figure it out. And my sister told me, well, I tell you, my, my sister told me $450. Then she told me another $200. Then she kept me, cash out me another, some more money on the cash out. And I'm like, damn, my sister literally sent me $1,000 to come take care of somebody she don't even know from a candy bank. And I felt like, I felt it relieved. When I was dying, I felt relieved. Like, yeah, it feel good to love you out in the open. You know what I'm saying? It feel good not to like, to know I told somebody and they know. You know what I'm saying? It felt good to me to not, you know. But in the back of my mind, I'm still worried about my mom. My mom was going to say. But, like, I went down there, y'all, and, and, and I loved on my baby. That's what I did. You know, I did exactly that. And she enjoyed it. I even posted a clip. You know what I'm saying? Of us that night or whatever the case may be. You know, I took it to so uh, I took it to Sugar Cake Factory. Cause this she very she's a very simple woman. She, she's a very simple woman. Took it to the uh, Sugar Cake Factory. The sugar what is it called? The Sugar Factory. The one down uh, downtown on the coast. So I took it to Sugar Factory. I bought her some um shoes. Uh I paid for her dinner when we I for the birthday dinner. I planned uh, us a night at the crib. And she wanted to do an arcade, so we did arcade that night. A lot of other little things that we did, but like I, I made sure. Oh yeah, I'm with the paper. I got her a promise ring. I got her a promise ring because, like, that was me stepping up to like say, hey, look, I, I know we've been through a lot, you know, but I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm choosing you. I want you, and I only want you. You know what I'm saying? I told my family about you, girl. I want you. The shit, I, I want you, you know what I'm saying? So I bought her a promise ring. I think she still wore her promise ring. She won't never take that thing off. I told her, get back to me. She was like, no, it's my ring. And I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. But we, 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 we good, though. We were not separate ways. But yeah, I bought her a promise ring for Pandora. That little Pandora ring meant everything to her. So yeah, I kind of went down there and I did my big one, more of the story. You know, I, and I did my, I did my big one. <laughs> Yeah, so she brought me back to the crib. Oh, oh yeah, let me not not to mention my car had fucked up. My car's fucked up too. So I told my sister to make sure that I got down there, and I made sure I found a way. I told my cousin, I was like, "Hey, yo, bro, can you drop me off in Alabama?" He was like, yeah, "For sure, man." My cousin brought me down there, bro. I was man, I shorty, I was in a rolling whip. Man, shorty let me drop a whip, and I was just she let me do my big one. I was doing my big one. You know what I mean? You know, if that's weird, that's weird, baby. Don't, don't ever let them tell you that it ain't. If they want to. Then they will, you feel me? And like, uh, yeah. Man, she took care of me. She really think about me some shoes. She was, I was like, it's your birthday weekend. It's off to you. And she was like, nah, nah. You know, you know, she always thought about me. That's one thing I can always give her. She never been like a selfish woman. And I appreciate her always. You know what I'm saying? That was my best friend, so always. But um, yeah. So right after she, 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 she bring me back home, right? 
from the weekend that I spent with her for her birthday. And like on the way back, y'all, so she dropped me off in my bro house. And like my bro went over at the house, so I was locked up the house. So I was sitting on the porch waiting for everybody to get back. And I'm like, damn, where everybody at? Cool. And I just started feeling weird. And not too long after, like literally an hour after, an hour after, she got in. No, no, not an hour. So I was only three hours away from where we said. So about she she made no no she made she made she made she made it to school back to school she was in college and right before she could turn to go on the campus this guy ran into her and her car flipped three times and by the time you know, I, I got in the house and i was i was out in the city she facetimed me and she was like anna anna and i'm like wait what's going on and that 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 scene there hurt me and then I knew from that pump, from that moment there, as soon as she had her accident, when we was on the phone, I was like, look, I have to tell my mom. I had to tell my mom. I was like, I, I, I have to tell my mom. I can't keep leaving in the dark. I got to tell my mom. So, cool, you know, I couldn't go see her at the time because my car fucked up. Like, well, I didn't have a way to get there. I should have asked my cousin. My cousin, I think my cousin had one. He went out of town because he was working. I really didn't have no way to get there. And I was just like, damn, I need to find a way to get there. Because this girl just got to the whole car accident. She could have died. I should have been there. And that's one of my biggest regrets that I've never, to this day, and she know that, like, I should have came. Real talk, I should have came and see you. But yeah, so that happened. And then I get back to Texas. I get back to Texas. Um, and I was just like, me and my sister talked. And one morning I woke up, she did. I told my mom. She told my mom for me. And my mom, I don't know how my mom took it, but I don't really, to this day, I still don't think my mom cared for it. But that's why I try to leave my, my, my life like that. I try to respect her boundaries and, and, and live my life at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm grown now and she has to understand that. You know, she did her job on raising me. Whatever I do with my life, it does not come on your faults. It's me and me only. Just, you know, but I can't say this. My mom still loves me, guys. She still has helped me. She still talked to me. We still, she, she literally my everything. If I need something, she got me. So it ain't like she just put me to the side. But I know she don't, she don't care for it because she's she, she so in her word. You know, you know, she don't really care for it. So I just try to, I still respect it. The person I talked to after me and my ex broke up, I ran on and I, I introduced her to my mom because it was like, I wasn't going to go down the road again. And that mean a lot to you. And like, the person I was with at the time, she didn't understand what that meant to me about her, me and my mom, but it meant, it meant, it meant a lot to me. It really did because it's like, if you me and my mom, I really care about you. You know what I'm saying? Because what my mom think of me matters to me. How my mom view me matters to me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's kind of like my coming out story, you know, guys. It was kind of crazy. It was a lot going on. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I had a lot going on though, bro. I don't know. It's a lot of shit that, that happened. And yeah, but all I want to say is I ain't gonna hold this video much longer. Be you. You know what I'm saying? And live for you. Don't live in the shadows. You never know when and how much longer you got a person. So always cherish them. And never let nobody feel like they hid. Because not, that, that's not a good feeling. You know what I'm saying? And all of those years, a lot of things could have been avoided. What if the accident could have been avoided? What if so much could have been avoided? You know what I'm saying? If I would have just been open. And yeah. But to this day though, y'all, like, that's my homie. Like, we don't talk, we don't really talk, we don't talk. We kinda got a hate, love relationship. My love for her is always remain the same. I don't hate nobody. If I love you, I love you for a reason, I still love you. Even after you hurt me, I love you, you can move on with your life. You can go get married again. I don't care, do whatever you do. That's your business, I respect it. You know what I'm saying? And so far as anything that I got going on after that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just wanna do right. You know what I'm saying? I just wanna do right, just go around and live my life the way I wanna live my life. So this is going to be it for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me more things that y'all want to see me do. I'm Jim. Peace. I'll fuck with y'all.